So please join me in a show if um, you put your palm together if you can. Shoji no kukai hotori nashi, hisashiku shizumeru warela oba, mida no gugan no fune no mizo, no sete kanarazu watashikeru. The ocean of birth and death, of painful existence, has no bound. Only by the shape of Inda's universal bow can we, who have long been drawing, unfailingly be brought across it. Hymns on Pure Land Masters from, uh, from uh, Shinran Shoni. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo So happy fall to everyone. Um, the fall is the most um, colorful season here in Minnesota. I hope you all enjoy this beautiful fall season. Um, I hope you are not too sad about the temperature dropping quickly uh, just these days um, like me. Uh, today is our Ohigan service. Uh, ohigan. Is, the, is observed two times a year the, during the spring and fall equinox. Uh, it is a time uh, when things seem to be in balance, uh, then at night are equal and the temperatures are more moderate. So it's not too hot, it's not too cold. Uh, one of the, the, um, the many people um, enjoy that, that, that season. The spring autumn equinox is a day the sun comes up from due east and then sets down in due west. The direction of east and west has never changed. The routine of equinox has also never changed. It is universally acknowledged truth, just same as Buddha Dharma. So the special Ohigan service are usually observed in Japanese Buddhist temples. Uh, and in Japanese temples abroad, they are based on a particular Buddhist uh, tradition and sect. Uh, they also visit um, to the family grave. Uh, you can see the picture uh, like this in Japan. So decorate flowers and flower arrangements, offering uh, the sweets like ohagi. Um, so ohagi is, you can see the, the, uh, the picture uh, here. Uh, it's the other, uh, uh, I, I made one this morning, um, offering to my butsudan. So I'm going to show this if you can see, uh, this is our made, uh, our, uh, oh, ohagi here. So this is, uh, the very, uh, difficult that the sweets, um, that the Japanese people offer, uh, to the butsudan or, um, the family grave, uh, just like this. Um, so it's a mochi, you know, the uh, uh, mochi rice inside and then wrapped with the, uh, the, the red bean paste, the anko. Uh, and then the, the different, uh, the, the towns and places in Japan, so they have uh, uh, different flavors and some, some people put the other uh, kinako, uh, the yellow uh, grated the other uh, soybean um, uh, powders on the, around the other uh, um, ohagi, or some people put the other uh, uh, aonori, so the seaweed flakes on the, over the other uh, the, uh, ohagi, the anko. So they are all uh, my favorite sweets to eat. So I, I kind of miss that that uh, um, um, if I living in in the states. So um, and the people visit family graves and then temples, and instead of um, the going to work or school in Japan. So ohigan, the word ohigan, is the uh, the, um, the combination of a couple of different words. Ohigan's o is an um, honoric um, the prefix, uh, so we can drop it out. Uh, higan, so the word higan comes from the Sanskrit words paramita, which is translated other and as the other shore or nirvana or enlightenment, now which is to signify the pure end or real um, enlightenment. So there is a contrasting shore, which is our world that, that we live in, Shigan. It's called Shigan in Japanese. The world uh, of the, the Shigan is the world of uh, delusions and suffering. So this is the world sentient, sentient beings live in. So today I'd like to talk about how to cross the other shore, Shigan. 
So there are many ways. Okay. So one of the ways walking past um, to to the other shore, the consider the uh, it say that the six parameters. So we typically talk about the six parameters at the Ohigan seasons, which is as um, has read by Mieko today. So thank you for reading six parameters today. Um, so we also called uh, the six perfections. So this is the way to memorize that uh, Reverend Tatsuchiya mentioned us uh, that during his talk at the other service. Uh, so it goes like this, Grandpa, David's pizza, every Monday and Wednesday. So grandpa G is generosity, delivers, it's, um, the D is disciples. So the P, it's P is patience, uh, every is an E is effort, and then Monday's M is meditation, uh, and then uh, Wednesday's W is wisdom. So generosity, um, di discipline, um, um, patience, effort, and meditation, and wisdom. So, uh, so you can remember, uh, memorize that the, uh, the six parameters very easily in this way. So, this is the uh, the Bodhisattva's path uh, that what uh, the people do when uh, they want to become Buddha, want to become awakened, want to close the other shore. So, there's a, um, the one thing you can do. Other things, it's called the, uh, let's see. So um, may, you might be familiar with this picture. So this is the story, it's called the Niga Byakudo in Japanese. So um, this is another way to look at Higam, other shore, to see in this story, uh, the, the two rivers and the white path. The, some of you might remember, this is a story I've told at uh, my talk uh, several times. The story expressed about Chinese Pure Land Master Shantao, who lived during the 600s. So a traveler is journeying through an unknown and dangerous wilderness. He found before him a strange river that flows from the north to the south. The south side is the river of the fire, of the north side of the river of water. So the both rivers are too deep to walk, and they took about a hundred steps to cross to the other side. And also it goes to the both directions very far, directly in front of him is a narrow white path that crosses the river. In the, between these two rivers lies narrow the white path a few inches wide. The from behind he is pursued by many bandits and the wild beasts. They crumbed and then pushed and then the show get to get him down first because he was the only one there. The traveler was scared to die. How can I get the claws? How can I run away? His horror at this moment is beyond ex expression. So he thinks uh, to himself, if I turn back now, I shall die. If I stay, I shall die. If I go forward, I shall die too, since I cannot escape death in any way. I'd rather follow this path because there is a path. It must be possible to cross the rivers. When the thought occurs to him, he suddenly hears the voice from the eastern bank urging him, take this path with firm resolution. There is no danger of death. If you stay, if you stay there, you will die. Again, he hears another voice from the western back calling to him, come at once single-heartedly with right mindfulness. I will protect you. Do not fear that you may fall into calamities of water or, fi water or fire. Since the traveler hears this, this voice urging him from the bank and then the calling from the other, he resolved the body and soul, take the path to the proceeds than the ones without doubt or apprehension. As he takes a step or two, he hears the voice of the bands in the eastern bank. Come back, the path is treacherous. 
You cannot cross it. Undoubtedly, you are, you are sure to die. We have no evil intentions in pursuing you. Through hearing the calling voice, this person does not even look back. As he proceeds straight on this path with single, singleness of heart, he is he in no time reaches Western Bank and now free from all danger. There he meets in a good friend and his joy knows no end. This is the parable. Shantao, also called Zendo Daishi in Japanese, composed this parable based on his own spiritual dilemma. We understand that the other shore is Nibbana, uh, but we can also think go to the parent. There are many answers to the question, how to reach the other shore? How do I get enlightened? So since Shakyamuni Buddha in Shakyamuni passed away 2,500 years ago, the different schools have different understanding. They talk about Shakyamuni Buddha had 84,000 teachings. He taught many, many different ways. That this is why there are many, many different schools like Zen, Tendai, Shingon, Nichiren, Theravada, Tibetan Buddhism, all these many different ways that Shakyamuni taught. So they are all passed from here, Shigan, to there, Higan. So do we consider there is a path all the time? We just living daily life and not focusing on we are on the path. Uh, we may um, be feeling um, trapped as if we had fallen into the deep dark hole with everything seeming hopeless, unsure of which way to go. Anyone can fall into this kind of state. Then maybe you yourself have already experienced this state of um, complete loss of hope, of not knowing which directions to go. Any other experience could throw us into this world of darkness. But we see our life that throughout the teaching, we can see the path, single path. And we recognize ourselves, we human being, how much suffering in this life. When we discover the Buddhism, when we see this picture, the two rivers of the white path, we are able to see where we are right now. So the path that Chantal mentioned in this parable called the Piaurand path, named Butsu path, had taught by Shinran Shonin and his master Honen Shonin. That is why they choose Shandao to the call one of their masters. It is the path anyone can follow. It is a special path because it is open to anyone. Everyone just simply recite Nembutsu, Namo Amida Butsu. The Shin Buddhism, Jodo Shinshu, the practice completing wisdom has already been established for us. All we have to do is just receive the wisdom and the compassion that, that the path that, that leads us to the other shore. The path of wisdom that uh, have already established for us to simply um, follow. It is Nembutsu teaching. There is nothing on a, on a part of we have to complete in order to be able to get to the other shore because Nembutsu path does not work on the merit-based system. Sometimes it is hard to understand because our society we are living right now, it is opposite. So normally we think to ourselves, we have to something, we have to do something in order to be the world or get something. It is natural, it, it is very natural for us to think this way because um, we've been con conditioned to think like this. So if we work hard, the benefits as in we get like money to be able to sustain ourselves and the families. If we study harder, we will get into the good schools and then we have a good job and then a better life at least. 
this is the way how it was supposed to work, we do believe it in this life. It is natural for us to think this way. But Amida's way, Amida's teaching, um, the Nembut path is totally opposite. So um, we oftentimes may be feeling trapped as if we are falling into the deep dark hole with everything just seems hopeless or so. But you, we, you can see that the path, single path, beside the Nembutsu and then uh, Amida, hearing the Amida's voice. So I, as I read at the beginning of the talk, the Jodo Shinshu teacher Shinran Shoni mentioned that about the life, the ocean of birth and death of painful existence has no bound and said we have long been drawing. And the, the only being carried by ship of Inna's universal bow that bring us across the, the other shore, the, the pure land. So Shinran Shonin used the word ship for his, in, in his writing many times. He also mentioned that in a word, the world of delusions, birth and death as the ocean. So riding the ship is, is just the most reliable way. So when you ride a ship, you will see many different types of people. So young and old, tall and short, and big and small, many, many people. But, but, the, but the once we all get on the board, the ship will undoubtedly bring you to the other shore, all the other the destination together. You may um, still want to study more and then more than the others. You want to try something harder and you can do it. But you know, nobody chooses just a few good people to bring the destination. It's just all the same. We will all be delivered to the other show, no matter what. So there are seven masters listed the Shinran Shonin and teaches us Buddhism. The first uh, master, uh, Nagarajuna, that lived in India more than 1500 years ago, he mentioned that there are two major ways to become a Buddha. The easy, way, e e uh, the easy path and the difficult path. All seven pure and masters choose the easy, easy path, the Nembut path. So some of you might think you can do the difficult path, um, like studying and reading, and reading books, reading medit meditations for hours, and then you know I can chant like a sutras a hundreds of times and every day or so. But we never know what will happen to us. We might get sick. We will be able to continue to physical practice. When we are getting older, we might um, lose the ability to continue difficult practice. So it's going to happen anytime. That there are so many ways can fail the path of the difficult practice. So any of um, any of um, any of our experience and then they could throw into the darkness, and any time it could happen. So the sin's purpose of Amida's vow to engage all sentient beings, the rather than asking whether the pure and the really exist or not, we must accept the pure and as the world that is waiting us. So even though that because of unawareness, we are unfit to be born there. So once there, Amida's ship, the directions ahead of us. So that once we reach the other shore, Higang, Born in and pure, that is a terminus for our for our negative characteristic and the result uh, resulting ca um, karmic suffering. It all it, it allows us to attain a limited this life and a higher wisdom. It enables us to walk as a bodhisattva for the benefits of all sentient beings endlessly into the future. So Shinran Shoni said his major writing, the true teaching of a pure and way, the pure, uh, the true essence of pure and way, I see the middle direc directions of the virtue essential beings has two accept aspects. The as aspects of for going forth also to the pure and, and aspects of for our return to this world, again so. So when we born in the pure land, attending the cause of the Buddhahood and the great compassion naturally arises us. And so we return to this world to guide others 
sentient beings to liberation. So both also going forth and again so returning. Uh, the, but the both benefits and the brought us to be walking um, of their primal bow. So this is the, the saving works at the other power, which totally denies self power. So it is a great path in which to, it, we totally rely on the, the bow of Amida and enable, and enable all sentient beings to the, attain to the supreme enlightenment. So Ohigan is the time for us simply express our gratitude to Amida Buddha for awakening us boundless wisdom and compassion. Amida Buddha, your family, friends, your loved one, ones who had already passed away, all cross the river and then lead to the other shore. And then calling you as Amida Buddha's voice. They are always guiding you, guiding us like the light of sunset. So please join me in a show. Put your hand together. Say Nen Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu.